Yum, yum. Hi, Matt here from Pixel Fondue. This is the third video in a short series of tutorials where I'm going to show you how I created these shots. In this tutorial, I will work through the tracking in Synthize, importing that shot and character into Modo. Firstly, let me show you how I shot the background plates. I created a small garden set for my animation series and shot it all on a Huawei P20 Pro mobile phone. I used a three axis gimbal that allowed me to pull focus and control the exposure of each shot. Once the background plates were shot, I would render out a JPEG or TIFF sequence from After Effects and load that into Synthize. Synthize is a high-end tracking software that has been around for many years. I have used it for soft tracking, like the face tracking for this cat, but I mostly use it for camera tracking of scenes to place 3D objects in a shot. Firstly, we need to bring in the live action shot sequence. Go to File, Import, Shot. Navigate to your shot sequence. Select one still in the sequence and the whole shot will be imported. Select your frame rate, I'm using PAL. Leave everything else at default. Now we can scroll through the footage here along the timeline. I have a close up shot of a leaf and I'm wanting to put a character on top of this leaf. On the left, select fine tune here and then hit the auto button. Synthize does a great job in tracking the shot, but we will do some adjustments to make it better. With the auto track complete, we can see the different views, left, front, top, and the camera views, and we can scroll through to see all the trackers. We have a pretty good track, as we can see here. We have mostly green with a value of 0 0.0768, which isn't too bad. We want to get this smaller though. First off, select the Fine Erratic Trackers filter under the track menu. Leave everything at default and hit OK. We can see that Synthize has found some bad trackers, which it selects for you. We can see that this tracker has a really high value in the red, so delete that one. Scrolling through, we can see there are some yellow peaks. I usually select random trackers and see if they are in the red and delete them. Anything over three, I delete. Now do another clean. Select bad frames here. Select some random ones again and, and delete them if they are too far in the red. It is a matter of trying to get that HPIX value down. Let's go to refine here and hit a go again. We have now gone down to 0.5356, which is better. We have no red or yellow in the histogram. We are now ready to place a 3D plane in the scene. The top of this leaf will be where I want the plane and the origin of the scene. So select the trackers that are basically on the same axis. Change to the 3D view and then go into perspective. Here are the trackers we selected. First, we want to align the grid to these trackers. Right click and go to grid and select two face verts trackers, which will align the grid to the average position of the trackers. Right click again and select make grid the ground. We can now see that the grid origin is in the center of the selected trackers. Now it is easy to place a 3D plane at the origin. Go to the drop down menu and choose plane. Click on the create wand and in the top view at the 000 point, drag out a plane. You can see it is created at the place where we selected the points. Just rotate it around to make it face the right direction. And we can see that the plane is locked to the leaf when we scroll through the timeline. Let's export to Modo. Go to file, export, and you can see a lot of different programs to export to. Select Modo right down the bottom. Can't quite see it here, sorry. Save the Perl script. I have already done this here. I will just override this one. Leave these settings as is. Now in Modo, go to the system and select Run Script. Navigate to the script exported by Synthize and open it. Modo will import a new camera all the tracking data represented as locators and the plane created in Synthize into a new scene and place them in their own folder. We have a new camera, so we don't need the old one. Select it and delete it. Scrolling through the timeline, we can see the plane is locked to the leaf and the plane is located at 000. The background JPEG sequence is placed as a background image for the camera and all the other locators are created from the tracking points in Synthize. Okay, so now I'll bring in the character. Go to File and Import and select the character. 
In the character scene, there is a camera, so just delete that one, and the camera view will jump back to the synthized camera. We can see that the ladybug is massive on the leaf, so we need to scale something so it looks right. Cbox allows you to scale the rigs in animation, but for this scene, I want to scale the scene, not the character. So create a new locator by hitting L on the keyboard. After renaming the locator, drag it into the synthsize scene folder. This new locator is created at 000, so we can scale the whole scene, camera animation, and track points using this one locator. So with setup mode checked, you can select the camera and locators and drag them to become a child of the scene scale locator. Now going out of setup mode, we can scale the whole scene, except the character, to anything we want. But first, a nice tip, I like to make the display of the camera smaller. So in the display tab, change the size to zero. Now the camera will not change when zooming in and out. A lower value will make the character larger in the scene. So a higher percentage value will make it smaller. I reckon about 220% for the scene would be a good size for the character. Now when we scroll through the timeline, we can see that the character stays in place. Alright, for the next tutorial I will look at a couple of animation tips and rendering out different passes and compositing in After Effects. Thanks for watching! Yum yum!